up guys, your boy Gunso and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to improve your beats and structures. This goes for plug beats or in general beats, but for the sake of the video I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this on a plug beat because it's easier to, to make and to explain, but you'll still get the idea of it. But before we start, I want to do some quick plugs. You can get my drum kits and my loop packs for 50% off. There's an automatic discount that's going to be applied at checkout, meaning you don't have to type any discount codes, just add the cart and the discount is applied. And I also want to shout out my Instagram. I recently started shooting film, as in film photography, and I post some of my pictures on Instagram. So if you guys are into that, you can follow me and uh, check them out. But yeah, enough with the plugs, let's jump into the video. So right now I have nothing, but I'll make a quick loop, as in some drums, hi-hats, open hats, some percussions, a melody, and I'll show you guys how to transform that from a loop to a properly structured beat with maybe some automations for the intro and outro. For the melody, I'm going to be using my latest loop pack, which is Gonzo's Loop Pack Volume 12. And for the drums, I'm going to be using Gonzo's XXL kit. Okay, so now we got a loop. It's uh, basically just a little melody loop and uh, seven sounds besides that. So we got a kick, an 808, a hi-hat, an open hat, a rim shot, I nearly call it a rim job, a clap, and a stomp. Everything sounds like this so far. Not gonna lie, it goes pretty hard. I didn't really mix it, it's just an EQ and that's about it. First of all, right, so we got the melody and then we have one pattern. What we gotta do now is just split the pattern. And it's already starting to look a bit more organized, even though it's nothing different. It's just that we see all of them separately and we can kinda get an idea on how we can arrange them better. There's not really a specific structure to beats. You can arrange them how you want to. If you want to have like a specific part for a hook or a verse, you can basically just imagine where those parts could come in. So in this case, I'm just going to make like some imaginary guides. I don't want to have too long of an intro. So it's probably just going to be one loop of the melody and then it's going to go in with the drums. So let's say this part is going to be the hook and then this is going to be the verse. So how can we actually differentiate the hook part from the verse part? You can start by removing some things and then adding them later. So let's say I don't want to have the stomps in the hook. So it's going to be like this. I'll also remove the perks because uh, what I usually do when I record my hooks, I tend to dub a lot of the vocals in the hook because I want it to feel, you know, kind of fuller than the verse. So having less elements in the beat is going to make it easier to mix the vocals because they're going to be more vocals compared to a verse. I said this already, but it, it makes sense when you do it. We got rid of two elements so far. Now, when the verse comes in, I want to take out the hi-hats for a little bit. So maybe right before the clap, so something like... And just so I won't make the, the pattern unique and just spend extra time on it, I can just do the same thing again. So in this case, I can just do this. What I would also do to kind of spice up the verse part would be once every second 808 pattern. So since we're using four bar patterns, this this is going to be the main one. And then this is going to be the second one. What I do usually is just make the second one unique and then change some things just so it's a little different. It doesn't have to be completely different. So what I usually tend to do is only change the last bar a little bit like these three notes, rearrange them and, and use different notes as well. So basically, I just changed the second half of the fourth bar of the loop. Because I did this, I got to make sure that the other elements are also following it. So there's no clashing of the sound. In this case, the 808 is clashing with the kick. Not necessarily clashing in the real sense, but... You know, like the kick comes in right between those two 808s. And it's kind of... Eh, so I'm just gonna do this. So now let's say that I want to I wanna change the second part of the verse. First of all, I'll just get these kicks like this. And also I want to keep the, uh, the second 808. Now what I'll do is change the first one, this one specifically. And let's say I want to get rid of the hi-hat even more. So but actually to make this easier, I'm just going to make this one unique as well. And I already know what I want to do. So I want to make this one into a roll and then increase the velocity like this. 
but now let's actually go to the 808 so what i want to do now is shorten this note out actually let's get rid of it completely and let's say i want to have a reversed 808 kind of it's going to be a fake reversed 808 because i don't want to place a note on C sharp 5, place another note on C sharp 4 with zero velocity and the C sharp 5 is going to have sliding enabled. And let's make it like this. And now if we play this, you know, it kind of gives you the impression that there's a reverse 808 coming in, but there's not really a reverse 808. But I also want to have higher note here. And maybe let's actually slide this down to C sharp 5. And let's see how it actually comes in with the other patterns before it. Okay, so now that we have the hook part and the verse, let's make a small bridge just so there won't be like a constant uh, amount of things and noises. Since we only have this melody, I'm just going to duplicate it as well. So since we know this is the bridge, we can easily just duplicate this what i like to do still keep the 808 going but what i'll do actually is uh, use the very first 808 pattern that we have and then make this one unique we can change this but still kind of keep it normal so i would probably get rid of this note and uh these two notes and i would probably bring this home like this so now from It's gonna go to this. And then just duplicate it for the other part of the bridge. To keep it more interesting, what you can also do is uh, grab the hi-hat, make this one unique as well, and uh, just kind of eyeball it and let's say get the first part to slowly rise up in volume. Now it's gonna fuck with the other velocities that you've done before, like if you want to have some rolls that go up and down, down and up, whatever, in volume. So keep in mind that if you want to spend more time and, you know, kind of replicate it, yeah, you can kind of do this, let's say like this. And you can maybe add some elements back like right at the end of the bridge so like the, the clap and the open hat as well and maybe 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 like a rim job rim <laughs> so let's say we have the the beat it's finished but we still need something to do with the intro and the outro now this is really a, a freestyle section there's no right or wrong to be to be honest you can also just start directly with the drums it's really up to you what i like to do is uh, play with the reverb let's say i'm gonna be using the same uh, 808 from the bridge it's gonna start like this but it's not gonna hit as hard so that way we're kind of ready for when the actual drums are gonna come in so i'm just gonna add the reverb take the wet knob all the way up and the, the dry knob all the way down the decay time all the way down the bass all the way down increase the low cut and the high cut and maybe the size and Kind of like this and i'm just gonna automate the uh, mix level and just uh maybe take it down right at the end or something just keep it interesting i'm just gonna add my tag as well also maybe let's add like a fade in at the beginning uh just so i won't actually automate the main a mixer knob i'm gonna add a fruity balance right at the end of the master track and just automate the volume knob so copy the value of the point and then let's say paste it at the third bar so kind of like this maybe let's start it at like 20 something percent and now for the outro you can pretty much do the same thing just add a point here and a point here and make it go slightly up you know it transitions from no reverb to fully reverbed or you can even go like full in switch up at the end <laughs> and 
and there you have it a more interesting structure of course you can play around with it you can make it twice as long this is just like two minutes long but yeah this is just like an idea to do something a bit different add some elements remove some elements here and there try to keep it less boring even if there's a specific part that you know no one is gonna rap over or something get creative basically and just keep it fresh and don't make it boring but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, you can grab my drum kits and loop packs for 50% off using the link in the description. There's gonna be a discount code automatically applied at checkout. And also follow me on Instagram. Why not? I don't know. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas when it comes to tutorials or something, please let me know because I'm dry as hell. I have no idea whatsoever and uh, I need things to do. Things that I can actually make videos on. So yeah, hit me with your best ideas. But yeah, it was your boy Gunso. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.